Hi, in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Agent Force to streamline day to day operations. In this example, we are an account executive working for Coral Cloud Resorts, and our customer, Acme Inc., has placed an order for us, and we need to send them an invoice. Now, our contact there is Julie Tennyson. This is the procurement manager over at Acme Inc., and we need to send them the uh, invoice for their order. Now, there's a little challenge there. The invoice is hosted on a third-party accounting system. Uh, here, I've simulated this by exposing it on a Heroku site with a specific endpoint. Now, obviously, I could do all of this manually. I could download the invoice file and prepare an email myself, but I'm going to show you how you can do all of this with Agent Force and custom actions. So I'm opening the agent now. I'm going to paste a prompt that I've prepared ahead, draft an email to Julie, thank them for their purchase, generate an invoice for order 100 and a public password protected link to the invoice. Share the link along with the password in the email. Now, since I'm looking at the Acme Accounts page, my agent is going to be able to figure out the context of my request. And you can see here that it's able to identify the contact with their detail and they got everything I needed, including the invoice link and the password. They also sent me an expiry date for the link. Now, I'm going to copy the um, password here and we're going to try to open the link there in a new incognito window to make sure that it does work as expected. So first of all, you see here that the URL that is exposed is actually no longer on Heroku. It's on our Salesforce org and we're using a temporary file to expose it. Now, if I send the password here, you can see that this is our invoice as expected. How do we do all of this? Let's check it out in Agent Builder. We're now in Agent Builder and I've prepared here a special topic for invoice management. This topic contains several instructions and a set of standard and custom actions. You can see that there are two custom actions here that we are using. The first one is generate invoice. This is going to be calling our Heroku app, which holds the invoice file. And the second one is generate a public document link, which will create uh, a publicly accessible document using a content document distribution. Now I can replicate the same prompt that I did earlier and we can see the agent action in the tracer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to specify which user we're going to be using for this because we're no longer on the account page so the agent wouldn't know in which context we are. So let's wait a few seconds for the result to come up and then we'll be able to see the action. So you can see here that it found the right topic in voice management and when we scroll down it was able to figure out our order number get the invoice document. So this is downloaded from Heroku and saved in our org. And then it was able to generate a public document link. You can see here that it requested that the document be password protected and it replied with the external facing URL, the password and the expiry date as expected. And that's it. That's how you can streamline day-to-day -day operations with agent force and custom actions. Thanks for watching.